Number 73, a student solved the following problem and found the concentration of N2O4 was 0.16 molarity at equilibrium. How could this student recognize that the answer was wrong without reworking the problem? And the problem was, what is the equilibrium concentration of N2O4 in a mixture formed from a sample uh, of NO2 with the concentration of 0.10 molarity? And then they give us this balanced equation with the Kc. So the first thing is, I'm going to just rewrite this a little bit bigger, right? So they have two NO2 gas. I do see that there are coefficients already, so I'm going to assume that this is balanced. But remember, always make sure that your equations are balanced before you do any math. Okay, guys? So I have this. And let's see. The question was, they wanted to solve for the equilibrium concentration of N2O4, and the known was that there was a concentration of NO2, at, uh, which was 0.10 molarity. So I know that I have this information, and it's 0 0.10 molarity. Now, the student found out that this answer was 0 0.16 molarity. Now, they told us that this answer was wrong, right? So we know that the student was unfortunately wrong, but how can we fix this problem on a test or a quiz um, so that, you know, you guys can figure it out that you got, you know, the wrong answer, and that's okay. Just we always do checks, and then we can, you know, keep going. So how do we find out that this was a wrong value? Well, they did give us the KC equation, right? Not the equation, but they gave us a value for KC. And we know these, these KCs have a general formula, right? It's this one. We've been seeing this time and time again, right? The KC is equal to the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants raised to the coefficients. So what we can do is we can get a generalized uh, equation for this, right? And remember, only aqueous and gases are allowed. So always check those states. But these are both gases, so they're both going to be in my expression. So let's just write out the expression, Kc equal to the concentration of the products. I have one product, N2O4, and it has to be raised to the coefficient. There was no number here. Remember, that means that there was one of them. So I could raise it to the first, but I don't have to. And then divided by uh, the concentration of NO2. And then I have to raise it to the coefficient. And in, in this case, I do see a 2, so I have to square it. Now, here we go. We're going to do a check, right? Because I'm sure that the student had to, you know, work out this formula first in order to find out what this number was. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the same formula, and you're just going to plug in the known number with the answer that you got to see what KC value you get. So we're going to plug in the 0 0.16 molarity, and we're going to plug in the known and see what we get. So in this case, Kc equals the 0 0.16, close that up, and then this is going to be the 0 0.10, and that's squared, right? We could probably do this in one step. Now, technically, what you're really finding out is a Q value, but what I like to do is I just, you know, it doesn't really matter, you know, who you're labeling it as. All you're basically looking for is, does this value equal the given? Because a KC value is a constant for a certain reaction at any given temperature. So this is a constant number. Do you have to memorize KC values? Absolutely not. Um, but it's basically used as a marker to see if you did the question right. So let's see. I'm going to now just check my answer. I'm going to do the 0.1 squared, and then I'm going to do 0.16 divided by that answer, 0 0.01, and I get a 16. And here it is, guys. You see how you, by checking your work, this person, you know, the student got a 16, but they should have gotten a 160. So that's how you know that, you know, something went wrong. Just go back, just double check, make sure that everything is good here. So it does not match the known K.
KC value. That means that you are not at equilibrium. And that's how you would, you know, check your work. Yeah? Okay. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out, and I greatly appreciate you all. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Let's keep studying hard, and I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.